We started with just a blank document. In fact, I'm going to even close that up and go here to the new icon. Looks like a little piece of paper. I can also go to File and New that way. But if I go to File and New here, see, I get my template categories again. I can go ahead and choose New Drawing US Units. But I like to use the buttons. You'll find out that I am a shortcut button fan. I like to use these buttons whenever I can. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And it'll create a new blank drawing for me. Now the very first thing we're going to do is we'll notice we don't have any stencils over here. Let's look at a place to find them. Now I showed you before from the getting started menu. We had our template categories here and all of our stencils were available there. We also had the choice here of creating them as a US unit or as metric. I don't want that. That to me is kind of a long way around. If I've got a blank document open here, I can also just click on this little arrow next to new and you see I get my template categories here and it lists all of those templates, the same ones again with US or metric units depending on what I want. And that's still not quite what I want. We can also go to our file menu and choose shapes and you'll see here that I have my template categories. We're also going to see something different in here. Open stencil and new stencil. This is what we're going to use. New stencil and again remember I said US units not metric for me. But before we go any further because like I said I am a big shortcut button fan that's the button right there for the shapes menus the template categories and all of these things there same as going here and here now don't get confused with this this shape gives us shape options and we're gonna look at that in the next lesson for right now we want shapes here and we're gonna create a new stencil and there it is it's a new blank stencil there's nothing on it we're gonna name it and save it so that we can go ahead and use it again and again and again whenever we want the easiest way to go ahead and save this stencil is click here right on the stencil name right click and choose save as and you'll see it's gonna open up to the my shapes folder in our documents folder and it'll prompt us to save it as a stencil right now it's called stencil 4 that's not what I want I'm gonna go ahead and name it after myself call it Bill's stencil there you go let me show you one more thing let me right click here and you'll see it says float window again it took my stencil and pulled it off of my shapes window and now it's floating around like my pan and zoom and my size and position window I can lock it in I can there we go I can drag it over here maybe I want to close that to pull it out again I gotta grab the title bar and pull it off I can float it I can move it around lock it in wherever I want now I'm pretty old school with this. I like the way the defaults are set up. So let me go back to viewing my shapes window and I'm going to put my stencil there. Over the years as I've worked with Visio, I've gotten used to the way it's set up by default and uh, I'm just going to leave it like that for now. You can set it up however you want. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.